Good to be back with you again today as we continue through the Word of God, reading Jeremiah chapters 48, 49, and 50. Now we'll start out Jeremiah chapter 48. Against Moab, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Woe unto Nebo, for it is full. Carathathium is confounded and taken. Mizgab is confounded and dismayed. There shall be no more praise of Moab in Heshbon. They shall have devised evil against it. Come and let us cut it off from being a nation. Also thou shalt be cut down. O madman, the sword shall pursue thee. A voice of crying shall be from Haranim, spoiling and great destruction. Moab is destroyed. Her little ones have caused a cry to be heard. For in the going up of Luhith, continual weeping shall go up. For in the going down of Haranim, the enemies have heard a cry of destruction. Flee, save yourselves, and be like the heath uh, in the wilderness. For because thou hast trusted in thy works and in thy treasures, thou shalt also be taken. And Chemosh shall go forth into captivity with his priests and his princes together. And the spoiler shall come upon every city, and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed, as the Lord hath spoken. Give wings unto Moab, that it may flee and get away, for the cities thereof shall be desolate without any to dwell therein. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Moab hath been at ease from his youth, and he hath settled on his lees, and hath not been emptied from vessel to vessel, neither hath he gone into captivity. Therefore his taste remained in him, and his scent is not changed. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send unto him wanderers that shall cause him to wander, and shall empty his vessels, and break their bottles. And Moab shall be ashamed of Chemosh, as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel, their confidence. How say ye, we are mighty and strong men for war? Moab is spoiled and gone up out of her cities, and his chosen young men are gone down to the slaughter, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. The calamity of Moab is near to come, and his affliction hasteth fast. All ye that are about him bemoan him, and all that are that know his name say, How is the strong staff broken and the beautiful rod? Thou daughter that dost inhabit Debon, Come down from thy glory, and sit in thirst, for the spoiler of Moab shall come upon thee, and he shall destroy thy young strong folds. O inhabitant of Aurora, stand by the way, and espy, as can that fleeth, and her that escapeth, and say what is done. Moab is confounded, for it is broken down. Howl and cry, tell ye it in Arnon, that Moab is spoiled, and judgment is come upon the plain country upon Halan, and upon Jahaza, and upon Mepha, and upon Debon, and upon Nebo, and upon Beth Diblatham, and upon Kiratham, and upon Beth Gom, and upon Beth Mion, and upon Kiriath, and upon Basra, and upon all the cities of the land of Moab, far or near. The horn of Moab is cut off, and his arm is broken, saith the Lord. Make him drunken, for he has magnified himself against the Lord. Moab also shall sw shall wallow in his vomit, and he also shall be in derision. For was not Israel a derision unto thee? He was found among thieves, for since thou spakest of him, thou skippest for joy. O ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities, and dwell in the rock, and be like the dove that maketh her nest in the sides of the holes of how of the whole's mouth. We have heard the pride of Moab. He is exceeding proud. His loftiness and his arrogance and his pride and the haughtiness of his heart. I know his wrath, saith the Lord, but it shall not be so. His lies shall not so affect it. Therefore will I howl for Moab, and I will cry out for all Moab. Mine heart shall mourn for the men of Kehrez. O Van Thibma, I will weep for thee with the weeping of Jazir. Thy plants are gone over the sea. They reach even to the sea of Jazir. The spoiler is fallen upon thy summer fruits and upon thy vintage. 
and joy and gladness is taken from the plentiful field and from the land of Moab, and have caused wine to fail from the winepress. None shall tread with shouting, their shouting shall be no shouting. From the cry of Heshbon, even unto Elah, even, and even unto Jahaz, they have, have they uttered their voice from Zor, even unto Hornoranum, as an heifer of three years old, for the waters also of Nimrim shall be desolate. Moreover, I will cause to cease in Moab, saith the Lord, him that offereth in the high places, and him that burneth incense to his gods. Therefore mine heart shall sound for Moab like pipes, and mine heart shall sound like pipes for men of Kiriz, because the riches that he hath gotten are perished. For every head shall be bald, and every beard clipped. Upon all the hands shall be cuttings, and upon the loins sackcloth. There shall be lamentation generally upon all the housetops of Moab, and in the streets thereof, where I have broken Moab like a vessel, wherein is no pleasure, saith the Lord. They shall howl, saying, How is it broken down? How hath Moab turned the back with shame? So shall Moab be a derision and a dismay to all them ab about him. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, he shall fly as an eagle, and shall spread his wings over Moab. Kerioth is taken, and the strongholds are surprised, and the mighty men's heart in Moab at that day <clears throat> shall be as the heart of a woman in her pains. And Moab shall be destroyed from being a people, because he hath magnified himself against the Lord. Fear and the pit and the snare shall be upon thee, O inhabitants of Moab, saith the Lord. He that fleeth from the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that getteth up out of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For I will bring upon it, even unto Moab, the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. They that fled stood under the shadow of Heshbon because of the force, but a fire shall come forth out of Heshbon, and a flame from the midst of Sihon and shall devour the corner of Moab, and the crown of the head of the tumultuous one. Woe be unto thee, O Moab, the people of Chemosh perisheth, for thy sons are taken captives, and thy daughters captives. Yet will I bring again the captivity of Moab in the latter days, saith the Lord. Thus far is the judgment of Moab. Jeremiah chapter 29 Concerning the Ammonites, thus saith the Lord, Hath Israel no sons? Hath he no heir? Why then doth their king inherit Gath, and his people dwell in their cities? Therefore, behold, the days come, at, saith the Lord, that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard in Rabbah and of the Ammonites, and it shall be a desolate heap, and her daughters shall be buried with fire. Then shall Israel be heir unto them, that with this heirs, saith the Lord. That were his heirs, saith the Lord. Howl, O Heshbon, for Ai is full. Cry, ye daughters of Rabba. Gird you with sackcloth, lament, and run to and fro by the hedges. For their king shall go and take captivity, and his priests and his princes together. Wherefore, glorious thou in the valleys, thy flowing valley, O backsliding daughter that trusteth in her treasures, saying, Who shall come unto me? Behold, I will bring a fear upon thee, saith the Lord God of hosts, from all those that be about thee, and ye shall be driven out every man right forth, and none shall gather up him that wandereth. And afterward I will bring again the captivity of the children of Ammon, saith the Lord. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord of hosts, is wisdom no more into man, is counsel perished from the prudent. Is their wisdom vanished? Flee ye, turn back. Dwell deep, O inhabitants of Dedan, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. If grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some gleaning grapes? If thieves by night will not destroy till they have enough, but I have made Esau bare, I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. Leave thy fatherless children, I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, have assuredly drunken, and art thou he 
that shall altogether go unpunished, thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her, and rise up to the battle. For, lo, I will make thee small among the heathen, and despised among men. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart. O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, and that holdest the height of the hill, though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as an eagle, I will bring thee down from thence, saith the Lord. Also Edom shall be a desolation, every one that goeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan against the habitation of the strong, but I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me, and who will appoint me the time? And who is the shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Edom and his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. At the cry of the noise thereof was heard in the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And all that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. Concerning Damascus, Hamath is confounded and Arthur for they have heard evil tidings. They are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea. It cannot be quiet. Damascus is waxed feeble, and turneth herself to flee, and fear hath seized on her. Anguish and sorrows have taken away, sorry, taken her as a woman in travail. How is the city of praise not left, the city of my joy? Therefore her young men shall fall in her streets, and all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the palaces of Behadad. Concerning Kedar, and concerning the kingdoms of Hazor, which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon shall smite, thus saith the Lord, Arise ye, go up to Kedar, and spoil the men of the east. Their tents and their flocks shall they take away. They shall take to themselves their curtains and all their vessels and their camels, and they shall cry unto them. Fear is on every side. Flee, get you far off. Dwell deep, O ye inhabitants of Hazor, saith the Lord. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, hath taken counsel against you and hath conceived a purpose against you. Arise, get you up unto the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care, saith the Lord which have neither gates nor bars, which dwell alone. And their camels sh shall be a booty, and the multitude of their cattle a spoil. And I will scatter into all winds them that are in the utmost corners, and I will bring their calamity from all sides thereof, saith the Lord. And Hazor shall be a dwelling for dragons, and a desolation for ever. There shall no man abide there, nor any son of man dwell in it. The word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah the prophet against Elam in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. I will, and upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven, and will scatter them toward all those winds. And there <clears throat> shall be no nation whither the outcast of Elam shall not come. For I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies and before them that seek their life. And I will bring evil upon them, even my fierce anger, saith the Lord. And I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them. And I will set my throne in Elam and will destroy from thence the king and the princes, saith the Lord. But it shall come to pass in the latter days that I will bring again the captivity of Elam, saith the Lord. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 50. 
The word of the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet. Declare ye among the nations, and publish, and set up a standard. Publish, and conceal not. Say, Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah together, going and weeping. They shall go and seek the Lord their God. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant that shall not be forgotten. <clears throat> My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. They have forgotten their resting place. All that found them have devoured them, and their adversaries said, We offended not, we offend not, because they have sinned against the Lord, the habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. Remove out of the midst of Babylon, and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans, and be as the he-goats before the flocks. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And Chaldea shall be a spoil. All that spoil her shall be satisfied, saith the Lord. Because ye were glad, because ye rejoiced, O ye destroyers of my heritage, because ye are grown fat, as the heifer, as gra at grass, and bellow, as bulls. Your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bare you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and a desert. Because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Put yourselves in array against Babylon, round about, all ye that bend the bow. Shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against the Lord. Shout against her round about, she hath given her hand. Her foundations are fallen, her walls are thrown down, for it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her, as she hath done, do unto her. Cut off the sower from Babylon, and him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest, for fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn every one to his people, and they shall flee every one to his own land. Israel is a scattered sheep, the lions have driven him away. First the king of Assyria hath devoured him, and last this Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon hath broken his bones. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will punish the king of Babylon and his land, as I have punished the king of Assyria, and I will bring Israel again to his habitation, and he shall feed on Carmel and Bashan, and his soul shall be satisfied upon Mount Ephraim and Gilead. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for, and there shall be none in the sins of Judah, and they shall not be found, for I will pardon them whom I reserved. Go up against the land of <clears throat> Merithium, even against it and against the inhabitants of Picot. Waste and utterly destroy them, saith the Lord, and do according to all that I have commanded thee. A sound of battle is in the land, and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon <clears throat> become a desolation among the nations? I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. And thou wast not aware. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven against the Lord. The Lord hath opened his armory, and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the utmost border. Open her storehouse, storehouses. Cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. Slay all her bullocks. Let them go down to the slaughter. Woe unto them, for their day is come, the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of the Lord our God. 
the vengeance of his temple. Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about, let none thereof escape, recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done, do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Lord, against the Holy One of Israel. Therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Lord. Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, saith the Lord God of hosts, for thy day is come, and the time that I will visit thee. And the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour round about him. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel, and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Their Redeemer is strong. The Lord of hosts is his name. He shall thoroughly plead their cause, that he may give rest to the land, and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. A sword is upon the Chaldeans, saith the Lord, and upon the inhabitants of Babylon, and upon her princes, and upon her wise men. A sword is upon the liars, and they shall dope. A sword is upon her mighty men, and they shall be dismayed. A sword is upon their horses, and upon their chariots, and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures, and they shall be robbed as a drought is upon her waters, and they shall be dried up, for it is the land of graven images, and they are mad upon their idols. Therefore the wild beasts of the desert, with the wild beasts of the islands, shall dwell therein, and the owls shall dwell therein. And it shall be no more inhabited for ever, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. As God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities, therefore thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. The people shall come for, from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not show mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses. Every one put an array like a man to the battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon. The king of Babylon hath heard the report of them, and his hands waxed feeble. Anguish took hold of him, and pangs as of a woman in travail. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the swelling of Jordan unto the habitation of the strong. But I will make them suddenly run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? For who is like me, and who will appoint me the time, and who is the shepherd that will stand before me? Therefore hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon, and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. At the noise of the king of Babylon, the earth is moved, and the cry is heard among the nations. Amen. Through the reading of God's word. Look forward to being back with you again tomorrow. Lord bless. Have a great day.